In this video, I'm going to do a build in public. I'm going to go through the entire process of first finding a microsats idea, how I would market it. Then I'm going to actually build the microsats from scratch. Let's get started with the idea that I thought for a long time is having like a public speaking coach. So basically it would be something where you can input a link to a YouTube video or to a loom where you're speaking. And then the microsats would just give you a report on how you did and what you can do to improve. I think for most people, public speaking is something they want to get better at. So this is a pretty big market. So one, one of the ways that I validated this idea is I went to Explore Insights Pro and I just searched for public speaking coach in the Fiverr database. And it brings up all of the services that are already offering the service plus how much money they're making. So this is a good way to see how validated this idea is. I can go through the database and see that this person offers the service to be a private acting coach and already made over a thousand dollars. Here they have a vocal coach training and they already made over $13,000. So keep scrolling. I will be your writing coach that they made over $4,000. So you can see that this idea is already validated and I don't have to worry about building something that no one wants. So that's the first part, which is idea plus validation. The next part is marketing plus the design. I went to Figma and spec'd out what I would do the entire flow of the app. We're going to have one page or the landing page, which is just going to have a simple input button and a form to allow them to put their video or loom video. So this is where they're going to put their actual video and they cl click on the button to generate the report. What we're gonna do is we're gonna have a report that has like a timestamp of all their um, spots in the video where they could have improved their public speaking. Let's say the video is 10 minutes long. We're gonna have a report that goes through an entire video and summarizes where they did really well and where they could improve. So it's gonna be like a bunch of timestamps with the image, pros and cons and stuff they could have done to improve it. And then at the bottom, we're gonna have a form to allow them to upgrade the report for a small fee. So let's say they have this free report. Now they want to get an upgraded version of that report with more tips. Maybe it's $10 they can pay with Stripe and then they're going to be sent a new form with more tips on how they can improve their public speaking. This is going to be our way to monetize. In terms of marketing, we're gonna have all these reports be searchable and indexed on Google so that they can, they can show up when people search for public speaking tips. So that's the first thing, which is we're gonna create these pro programmatic SEO pages so that they rank on Google. And then to actually market this app, we're going to promote it on Facebook and Reddit. On Reddit, there are subreddits like rate my public speaking. So we're gonna share it on those subreddits. Then on Facebook, we're going to share it on groups like uh, public speaking advice or something. So. These are the two main traffic sources and that's how we're primarily going to like market this product. Let's start building this product. So I've already cloned this project. This is an old project that I cloned and we're just gonna use it and change some of the design and copy. And that's one tip to just build faster, which is just to use your old project. What we can do here is we go to Claude and type in our prompt to create the app. All right, I've typed the prompt and it's generating the code right now. Basically, I type, I want an app that allows me to input a YouTube link and it gives me a report in a separate page. Give me all the code in Next.js. Do not require me to install any other dependency and make the design look beautiful. So those are the four things. And here is the code that's being generated. We're just gonna copy and paste this into our code base. So I've already created a code base and right now we're just waiting for all the code to be generated. Okay, so here, this is the index page. So we're just gonna copy and paste this into here. All right, so it gave us all of the code. I mentioned that we already have the page.txx and the report.txs are created in our directory. This is needed because it doesn't know the code structure of our code base. It's useful to, to give it your uh, structure. After I told it that, it generated all the code for the report.js and the page.txx. So these are the two files I already created. It told me to edit the layout.tsx. Um, so I copy these three pages. So, so this one here, this one here, and then this one here. Here is the result of that. It gave me the site with gradient. We'll just put in our URL here and let's see the report. Okay, so it doesn't have the report. Let's see. Okay, so there is a bug where once we put in the URL and click on generate report, there is a page not found. Typically what you can do is you can just tell it, okay, so this is the error. I get when I put in my URL and 
click on generate report. So you can literally just give it the exact error that you're getting and it should give you some advice to debug and troubleshoot it. It's telling us to change our page, page file. So we just copy this and put it into page. It's telling us to also create this new app slash report slash URL. So we got to make this new page, new folder like that. All right, so we just got to copy and paste all this code. So I've created this new directory and then I move page file under there. And then it says layout is unchanged and everything else we don't really need. Let's refresh this, see if it's working. All right, so now it's working. So basically what I had to do is I had to have one page dot txx under this new directory and then i had to have another i guess the main file like this page also with its own file so yeah now it's working so it allows us to um, put in a url and then after we click on it this is like the report right typically once the initial design is made and i'm just making small design changes i like to do that in claude on this page let's say i don't like that it has a lot of gradients you can just say uh, i remove all of the gradient and make it just grayscale. I would just make all the changes in cursor after the main pieces are generated by the Claude. That's been my go-to flow. So once it generates this, you can just apply to the entire file and it will make all changes for you. And once it does that, you can accept it and let's see what it is. All right. So now the design has changed. So it looks pretty good. And this is the report that is made. So the report doesn't look that great. So we just go to this file and say, make it a two column report, create, make it look better, great. You just tell it all your commands within the file that you want to edit and it will make those changes, right? Let's see if the design changes are made. So yeah, it's pretty good now. The only thing is it's giving us like report of the actual YouTube. We want the report to be how a person can improve their public speaking, multiple timestamps, exactly pros, cons, and what they can do public speaking. Hopefully this report now reflects the app that we want, the only small change. And then one more change on the front page, I think we should have a grid of all the reports that other people have generated so that it allows people to share and see how they can improve from other people's videos. Let's type in random thing and you can see that now the report is actually for our public speaking app. So it has detailed timestamps of where they can improve when they're speaking. It has like 30 seconds, pros, cons, and improvement. So the design could be improved, but this is a pretty good, let's create a grid of all the examples. Go back to our index page and we can say, I want a grid of all the reports that have been generated for other people underneath the input so that people can see other people's reports, something like that. All right, they made this and let's see if we can apply it. Sometimes if, if it's short enough, you can just copy and paste it. It's faster than clicking on apply. You can see that now we have recent reports, three columns. Right now there's no report. So let's see if we can use use some dummy data. All right, so we made this. Now we can just copy and paste into here and see what it looks like. So it's pretty good. As a re recent report, here are some examples that you can click on to see the report. So obviously this isn't connected to the backend, but what you would do is have a backend server that scrapes and gets the transcripts for the videos and then it would generate the report. I can do that in another video, but this video is just to show you guys how easy it is to make an MVP. So yeah, I will see you guys next time.